Okay, so in this video, we'll be looking at uh, the proof of showing that circles touch internally and externally. Okay, so you can see this scenario here is when circles touch each other externally. How we go and do that is you'll be given the equation of this circle and the equation of this circle. If you're given the equation of the two circles, you're able to find the center point and the center point. You're also able to find the radius of the first one and the radius of the second one. And it's important to note that these are, it's or one and or two. So we can find the radius of the first one and the radius of the second one. And we can find then, if we know the two center points, the distance between the centers. So if the distance between the two centers is equal to the two radii being added, then they are touching externally. Similar to that, we will be able to find the center points if you are given this equation of the circle and the equation of this circle. You would be able to find the center point of the two circles. So you have the center here and the center here. You'd be able to find or two, which is not what they have, they have or squared written down there, so you'd be able to find or two, and you would also be able to find or one, the radius of the first circle, and if you find the distance between the two centers using the distance formula, and it happens that the distance is the large radius minus the small radius, then they'll touch internally. So I'll show you now in an example. So show that the circles S1 and S2 touch externally. So first things first is always to find their center. Remember I gave you the shortcut? You can half and change the sign. So that's what I did to both of these. Half of minus six is minus three, change the sign and you get three. Half of minus four is minus two, change the sign you get two. And the next one, half of four is two, change the sign you get minus two, half of six is three, change the sign you get minus three. So find the centers of both circles, tick. We wanna also find OR1 and OR2. So OR1 is found by going G squared, so that's going to be minus three squared, because remember this is minus g minus f. Uh, so g squared would be minus three uh, squared plus minus two squared minus, and we're looking at s1, so it's going to be minus 11. So or one happens to be the square root of nine plus four, which is 13, so it's 13 minus 11, or one is equal to the square root of two, and we can leave it like that. Or two is the radius of the second circle. And this is again minus g minus f. So you'd get two squared plus three squared. Again, we're using g and f, but this is minus g and minus f. So you just change the signs. Minus, minus, minus 19, which would be plus 19. So or two is equal to Four plus nine uh, is 13, plus 19, or two is equal to the square root of 32, or two is equal to, what's the square root of 32? It's four root two. Okay, so we want there to be a relationship between, oh, brilliant, root two and four root two. We know they're the two radii. So if they touch externally, remember, draw a little circle for your, or a diagram for yourself. If they touch externally, we want this to be the big radii, four root two. This to be the little radii, is root two. We want the distance between the two, d to be five root two, because it's four root two plus one root two, which would be five root two. So let's find the distance between centers, between centers so we have our x1 y1 and our x2 y2 coming from the centers of the circles so what were the centers of the circles 3 2 and minus 2 
minus 3. I think I just want to double check them. 3, 2, minus 2, minus 3. Yeah, brilliant. And we're going to use those as x1, y1, x2, y2. We're going to find the distance using the distance formula. x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared minus 2 minus 3 squared plus minus 3 minus 2 squared 25 plus 25 square root of 50 square root of 50 into your calculator is 5 root 2 d is equal to r1 plus r2 5 root 2 is equal to root 2 plus 4 root 2 therefore they touch externally okay next question then so the circle K has center 4, 2. Okay, so a little sketch can help us again. 4 on the x-axis, 2 on the y-axis. So its center is here. And makes a chord 6 units in length on the y-axis. Okay, so its center is somewhere along... Well, now a little sketch. So its center is here. And I know, so center here, I know it hits the y-axis in two locations. The reason I know it hits the y-axis in two locations is because it says the chord that is formed, this chord here, is six units in length. That's how long that chord is. find the equation of k. So what do I need to find the equation of a circle? I need center and I need the radius. Now I have the center already. The center is 4, 2. So what I'm really looking for is the radius and then I can sub that into x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Remember, h, k is the center. This is in our log tables. I think it's page 22, but I could be wrong. And r is equal to the radius. So once we have those, we're absolutely flying. Now, there's a piece of information here that we're missing that we haven't talked about yet. It's this fact right here. That if we know the, per sorry, we know the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord, bisects the chord. So if I draw any chord in here, draw a chord in here, and I draw a line perpendicular to it, perpendicular to this chord, and that perpendicular contains the center, then I know this chord is split in two, into two even sections. So I actually utilize that here. How long is this chord? I know the chord is six units long from the question. If I were to draw a perpendicular to this chord that goes through the center, I would know this is split in two, even sections. And well, it's six long, so each half of it is now three. So I'm going to color that in blue. This is three long. And I know this is a right angle. So this line here is three long. And I know it's a right angle. Do I know how long this line here is? Remember, this bit here is zero, zero. The origin, zero, zero. So the green line, do I know how long the green line is? Well, what's the distance from zero to four? This is four units long and this is three units long. What do I want to find? Keep an eye on the prize. I want to find the radius. Or you might notice a right angle triangle here. Four, three, radius. Or squared is equal to three squared plus four squared. Or is equal to the square root of 25. Or is equal to five. So the radius is five. We know the center was 4, 6, 4, 2, sorry. So we're going x minus h 
squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared h k is 4 2 the radius is 5 sub all of that information in x minus 4 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 5 squared that's x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 8x minus 4y plus 16 plus 2 is equal to 25 and continue to multiply that out watch the quick way I did that well I knew it was going to be an x squared I knew it was going to be a y squared and I like that order and then I know it's going to go minus 4 by x minus 4 by x to give me minus 8x I also know it's going to be minus 2 by y and minus 2 by y minus 4y I also know it's going to be minus 4 by minus 4 is 16 and I also know it's going to be minus 2 by minus 2 to give 2 and finally 5 by 5 is 25 and then there's only one more line to it x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 4y uh, 16 plus 2 is 18 minus 25 is minus 11 no it's not 18 minus 25 is minus 7 if I had just taken my time I would have been able to do that in my head quickly enough uh, I'm going to show you one more question then so that's the equation of k done and dusted I'm going to show you one more question that's similar to this and it's right here very similar question the center of a circle is there a circle k circle k has center minus 1 minus 4 the midpoint of the chord of length 2 root 5 is 2 0 now this is 2 root 5 the chord is 2 root 5 so what's a half of 2 root 5 is going to be just root 5 so if I could draw that line in that's 2 root 5 long but a half of that is just going to be root 5 long that's how long that is what do I know about a midpoint of a chord to the center well it's bisected the chord there must be a perpendicular here midpoint to the center so if I could find this length here that green length I could then form a right angle triangle okay so I then want to form a right angle triangle knowing that this is root 5 this was 2 0 minus 1 minus 4 I could find that length here I could then find the radius find the length of the radius k and then write down the equation of the circle so I'm going to use this as my x1 y1 x2 y2 fill it into the distance formula x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared 2 minus minus 1 is plus 1 plus 0 minus minus 4 is plus 4 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 and that works out to be 25 square root of 25 which is 5 so uh, that distance is this is 5 this distance here is 5 long so now I can find the radius or squared is equal to 5 squared plus root 5 squared or squared is equal to 25 plus 5 is 30 or is equal to square root of 30 square root of 30 is just the square root of 30 which then allows us to find the equation of the circle again we know our center we know our or is equal to root 30 we know our h and our k go to your log tables page 22 it says the center is hk minus 1 minus 4 and we'll use x squared not x squared plus y squared we will use x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared that's x plus 1 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to square root of 30 squared and look 
minus h, h is minus 1, so it's minus minus 1, which is plus 1, minus k, so that's minus minus 4, which is plus 4, and let's just take our time. I know it's going to have an x squared and a y squared, so we're multiplying out the brackets. Remember, x squared, x by itself would give us x squared, y by itself would give y squared. Now, you don't have to do it in this quick way, but I'm just giving you a little bit of a shortcut. I know it's going to be minus, sorry, it's 1 by x, and it'll be another 1 by x, so that's going to be 2x. You could multiply out the bracket slowly, as I said. It's going to be a 4 by a y, and then another 4 by a y, so that's 8y. It's going to be 1 by 1, which is 1, 4 by 4, which is 16. Root 30 squared is 30. And then last line, to finish it off, x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 8y. 17 minus 30 is minus 13 is equal to 0. And that's the question done. They don't get much harder than that. Um, yeah, good question, good good topic. Um, and there's really not that much left of coordinate geometry to circle, so really stick with it now. There are, there's only one more video really until you're looking at exam questions so really stick with it you're gonna really it's not a guaranteed question by any means but look it comes up nearly every year so coordinate geometry circle paper two really really worth putting the work into hopefully you found the video useful anyways